Hello, my loves. Welcome to your reading for the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th. We're going to do all three days together. I'm using the Fairy Oracle as well as uh, the Light Seers Tarot today. I hope that you're doing amazing. Um, for those of you who are brand new to my channel, please keep in mind that these are general readings and as such, not everything will apply to you and that's okay. Take what does and leave what does not. Also, I'd like to welcome back all my VIP members as well as my subscribers and repeat viewers. If you're brand new, welcome, welcome. We are using a spread that I created. Um, it's five cards and we're gonna take a look at that, but a little brief announcement first. Number one, more than anything, I wish for all of you to have the most beautiful holiday if you celebrate Christmas and even if you do not, sorry about the movement of the camera. You know, I wish for you to have a beautiful couple days and an absolutely magical time. Um, this is a magical time for the entire world right now. We had the great conjunction this week. We have the holiday now. We had the solstice this week. Those of you that celebrate more nature-based um, spiritual beliefs will probably be feeling pretty good about that energy as well. Um, and I need to make a request to you. I need to request that in the next couple days, for you to please understand that I'm trying to take some time to recharge and to enjoy my family and to enjoy my time. This morning I have received several messages from multiple people about the difficulties that are occurring in your life right now. And I know that many of us have struggles, many of us have difficulties, but I cannot carry the burden of yours and my, my own at the same time. And so I'm asking you to please refrain from placing your burdens upon me today and tomorrow and um, Saturday and allow me the time to rest and recharge so that I will be stronger for you moving forward. All right, love and light to you, my dears. Let's get started. Thank you for your assistance with that. So the Oracle cards that we have, we have the air element. And we have reflections. So when we have the air element showing, there's going to be a focus on communication, right? Perhaps there's somebody you want to reach out to over the holiday. Um, it looks like if there's somebody that uh, you have a great deal of love and affection for, it looks like that's going to be a challenge to actually reach out and communicate with this person. Something may get in the way. Something may, may cause a sense of struggle. This is an, in our challenge position. You may be deep in your thoughts because we have the air element and we have reflection. Reflections in this particular deck is not, not super happy. So the things that you reflect upon may be the, the things that haven't been going well for you this year. We've had a very difficult year and so there may be a focus on those things. Um, there may also be a strong focus on you know what you want to change, what you want to make some sort of impact upon. Now I see right here, with this particular card, there's a focus on taking a pause, trying to release the stress and the struggles of 2020, trying to release the stress and the struggles of the holiday season, trying to release the stress and the struggles of a work situation, a love situation. You may be, because the 10 of cups is in our challenge position, you may be separated from the one you love right now. The one you love above all others, you may find yourself separated from that person. And there may be this struggle of feeling, you know, very dissatisfied today. Very dissatisfied over the holiday. You may be feeling a sense of loss. Now the focus is on the page of cups. You may want to reach out. You may want to connect with someone. But like I said, I feel like there's going to be something that blocks that. Something that gets in the way. Something that makes that difficult. I do, however, see a strong decision being made on the love front. The decision may be that you find your bravery and you reach out to somebody you haven't spoken to in, in quite some time. The challenge may be that you make a decision between one lover and another lover 
and choose to move forward on the love front. The challenge may be that you allow yourself to be vulnerable with somebody that perhaps might have been difficult for you in the past. Let's see what other cards we have. Ace of Cups on the bottom, Queen of Swords on the top. So there may be a focus on communication, like I said earlier. If the Ten of Cups has to do with family, you may find yourself in a, in a situation where you're not able to spend time with your family or a family event does not go well. Some sort of difficulty here. But ultimately, Spirit is guiding you, those of you that are dealing with love situations, to make a love decision at this time of year. To make a decision. And to communicate that decision to another. Um, signs that I see in this reading are Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, I mean Leo, Libra, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, I mean, there's a lot of water energy. And we're, when we're looking at water energy, you're looking at your emotions. You're looking at your feelings. Those, those, um, that which sometimes is, is a struggle for us to communicate and to um, really get in touch with. You know, sometimes, sometimes people develop feelings rather rapidly and unexpectedly. So sometimes that can be overwhelming to some. And maybe that's what we're seeing here. Somebody is needing to be brave and express themselves. Other times we have this disconnection. You know, the, you, there's been some sort of recognition of, of who is right for you. But yet you are not able to see them over the holiday. The holiday is ultimately just a day, right? And so while you may not be able to see this person over the holiday... There's still a connection that is deep and strong and able to uh, move forward and make some sort of change, some sort of renewal of the love that the two of you have, a renewal of the connection once you're able to communicate that. So try to be strong, try to be brave. If you're the one who's being guided to reach out and make a decision, try to be brave in doing so. Um, vulnerability is attractive. And so if you're concerned about being vulnerable with another, it's attractive when somebody is actually able to let you get to know who they are, right? And so try not to be too, too frightened by expressing yourself. And I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful holiday. Once again, like I said, there'll be a lot of focus on thoughts, on communication, uh, reflecting on what you do and do not want with regards to a love situation and um, possibly a family situation that may have a little bit of a struggle over the next few days. So just try to roll with it, go with the flow, do the best that you possibly can. And I will see you guys again soon. Love and light to you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.